Today's video is about making an illustration in Scratchboard. And this technique is something that I really enjoy. It was developed in the 1880s uh, as a byproduct of the half tone screen printing process. And it looks very similar uh, to a woodcut, but of course much easier and faster to create, especially when you are making an illustration and you usually have some time restraints on you. So that being said, let's get started and make a scratch board illustration. These are the scratch board tools that I am using. And here you can see the samples of how they, uh, the kind of marks that they make. And I'm gonna show you really quick. Here's the knife tool, makes a basic line. And this is the line tool. These are uniform lines that you can cross hatch with. Wire brush, you can make some irregular marks with those. Fiber brush, you can do some blending. And then a piece of steel wool, similar to the fiber brush. And I start with my sketchbook. And in my sketchbook, I had a drawing of a vampire Nosferatu. It was inspired by the silent film Nosferatu from 1922, a German expressionist horror film. And now I'm gonna transfer my drawing that I copied out of my sketchbook. I sized it down to fit the size of the scratch board five by seven. And I'm just mounting it down and I'm using a piece of blue transfer paper, which in the end will erase when I'm finished with it. But as you can see, I'm just tracing down some of the basic shapes and forms onto the board and I can get started. And now I can start scratching. should mention that you can also use an X-Acto knife or any other kind of tool that you want to cut uh, the surface of the scratch board with. You can use anything you'd like. Working with Scratchboard is essentially the opposite of what you would be doing when you're using a pencil and drawing on paper. When you're drawing on paper with a pencil, you're putting down the dark marks first and leaving the paper uh, white or lighter where you want it to, the value to be lighter. In terms of the Scratchboard, it's the opposite. You're putting their lightest areas down first and then working them back into or letting them fade back into the dark areas of the Scratchboard. I also want to mention it's very easy to remove or scratch away too much of the material uh, when you're working with scratch board. And in this case, I, I look back and I see some areas that I, I, I got a little too heavy handed with and removed a little bit too much of the, of the material. 
but overall, I think it was pretty successful. And it, the nice thing about Scratchboard too is you can go back in, and if you do feel like you've removed a little bit too much area, it will take a little bit of ink, and you can go back in and ink it a little bit more and put back some of that black if you feel like you removed too much of it. I didn't do that in this case, but it's definitely an option when you're working with this material. And you can add color to scratchboard artwork. Uh, in this case, there's some scratchboard inks by Ampersand Art. Ace, I will not be adding color one because I really like the, the contrast of the black and white, but color is always an option. As I start working in this upper shadow area, I want to be very conscious of not removing too much of the material. So I'm looking at it in terms of more of a reflective light up in that top area where you see where it's very dark. And I just have a few lines that are coming through. this illustration so I'm just kind of looking at the whole piece going back and forth and just kind of working all over the image and refining it and bringing it to completion. 